What's the crack, lads? Welcome back. It is Thursday. Is there any hype? Let's find out. We are going to be taking a look at the player of the weeks. So I will be streaming later, so it will be a fairly big stream. Uh, hopefully, you guys can come in and check it out. But we have got a couple of packs and a couple of things to talk about, right? So there's a couple of discussions, but we are going to go into the player of the week and get it and just do it short and sweet. We've got the three here that are kind of the highlight players with the player skill. You've got Griezmann with penalty specialist. Not really that great, to be honest with you. You've got Klanglu with one touch pass and you've got a Solar with interception as a player skill. So pretty decent. I mean, obviously, these guys are not going to change up your squad too much if you've got a beastly squad or a beastly team if you've been playing the game for a while. And these are part of the worldwide event here, as you see. So all of these players here, lads, are already trained and maxed out, and they're all on A form as well. If you have been playing the game for a while, I would say that the only player that you'll probably, like, notice a difference with will... I would say, look, Douglas Louise is a fantastic player. Every card of his is a beast. He's down as a box-to-box. -box. He's got good pace, good ability on the ball. Very, very solid on the ball. He only has standard form. He doesn't have any defensive player skills apart from man, apart from man marking and fighting spirit. He doesn't have interception, blocker, or anything like that. He also does have one-touch pass, which is quite decent. But other than that, I mean, he's just your traditional standard box-to-box -box that you can get across pretty much anywhere. Locatelli is probably the same. He's down as an orchestrator, has unwavering form, has some got, has got some nice player skills as well. Pretty decent. Obviously, these players being on A form is going to give him that little bit of a boost. That boost is not visibly shown anymore now. It's just the manager boost that is vis visibly shown with the team play style proficiency and whatever booster they get to their card. But he's got some nice player skills. But again, he's just a standard kind of DMF uh, center midfielder type player. I mean, I would definitely think that destroyers and anchormans just handle a lot better. They're more defensively sound than orchestrators. But he's okay. I mean, he's got some very, very basic stats that you can get in the standard GP market. I wouldn't be spinning for him, right? That goes the same for Sergio Ramos. You know, if you are a fan of Ramos, or if you're a fan of any of these players with the boost, right, you will be able to get Ramos up into the 90s pretty much with the three stats there while still having jump, physical contact, and heading all very, very strong. And he's got a wavering form. He's got every player skill that you could possibly want. He doesn't have his new hairstyle with this card, which is a bit of a pity. That would probably be enough for some people to actually want to get him. Um, but I do think, again, there's so many players that you can buy on the GP market that unless you have a real fan favorite or your favorite, favorite player of yours is there, um, then I don't think any of these are worth spinning for, right? You've got your traditional goalkeeper as well, not really to shout home about. Awareness and reflexes, they're the two key stats now, and he has them in the 90s. They'll get a boost to 92 with the team play style, proficiency, unwavering form, low punt, long throw, perfect. If you do spin him in your pursuit of somebody else, pretty decent goalkeeper to have on A form. And then also Goretzka. So Goretzka has been one of my favorite players that I have had for a long time. Like, I've loved Goretzka. Um, I would say, personally for me, I would say that this version of Goretzka is a box-to-box. -box. He has inconsistent form, but he has got really good physical contact. His acceleration is a bit of a killer. His stamina and speed is not great either. And I would say that this is a weaker version of Goretzka, a very weaker version of Goretzka. He seemed to be really nerfed. Um, Goretzka was the best box-to-box, -box, I'd say, for about six to nine months when he Football 22 launched. He was absolutely insane. I think Bellingham, I think, you know, the likes of Barella, um, they've kind of like, they've kind of like just taken over that meta now, I would say, you know, when you're talking about just standard cards, um, you know, Bellingham, Barella, even Kamavinga, Shuamini, and other different roles, um, but I still feel like they are a bit better. He does have some nice player skills, area superiority, fighting spirit, one touch pass. Very nice, but to be honest with you, there's been multiple other versions of Goretzka that have been better than this card. Um, and his standard card is extremely similar to this card as well. And that inconsistent form, even on A rating, is, is pretty poor, right? So that kind of rubs off a lot of these guys here. We've got Murphy as well from Newcastle. This is probably what the Player of the Week should be more about, is kind of cards that don't really get featured in other packs. Um, because obviously it's always the big time cards that come into club selections. Good pace, good speed, um, fairly okay balance, going to go into the 80s, dribbling going to go nearly 90. Fairly okay player skills as well, long range curler is very effective at the moment, long range shooting and first time shot. He's also got pinpoint crossing which is pretty decent, he can play on the left or right any position there, left mid, right mid, or the wings pretty okay um we also have doug lewis louise who i've mentioned as well very very solid box to box um we have this guy as a dmf klanglu i don't know if he's worth it lads to be honest with you i mean you'd really want this player 
um, if you wanted a spin for him. Excellent ability on the ball. But pretty much any kind of like, yes, for an anchorman, he's quite decent. But when you've got a job as anchorman, if you're playing in DMF, you literally just want to get the ball rid of as soon as you get it with an anchorman. Unless you can deep um, hit passes, such as true passing or low lofted passes. You know, like the likes of Rodri, Casemiro, any of those can do a better job. His speed and acceleration are not too bad. His defense isn't good enough for a DMF. And as a CMF, you can get a lot of what he brings to the table with smaller, nimbler, um, more versatile, mobile center midfielders that can play box-to-box -box or else orchestrator like Kimmich or else box-to-box -box like Barella. So it's a bit of a miss for me. It's a very disappointing player of the week, in my opinion. Uh, we've also got Dallow, who is down as a right back. He can play right mid as well. Again, lads, there's not really much to cry ho shout home about here. Um, good stamina, speed, and acceleration. But other than that, he's just your average stats across the board and average skills across the board with all of these. We've got Griezmann and Salah. So I've been down on Salah for a while. If I did spin for Salah and I got this version of him, I probably would try it because it looks like a very decent card. But I've just never been able to use Salah. I don't know why that is, but I've just maybe it's the, the Liverpool Manchester United rivalry that I have as a United fan. But I've never actually just been able to have Salah for like five, six games and be like, yeah, I mean, he is the man. Like he's just a beast. I know some people love him and love to play with him, but for me, he just never really does it. But it's a fantastic card on paper, and I'm sure some of you guys will like this card. But there isn't much of a dis uh, dis you know, a, d a difference between him, his standard card, and any other version that they've released. And this is where I think they're missing a trick. And they should do more like Giroud and goals and, you know, McTominay as a CF. They should do kind of random cards, like a bit mad cards for the player of the weeks. Because right now, when you spin these once or twice, you, you don't usually get better versions than the cards. They're just kind of robbing, you know, Peter to pay Paul, so to speak. It's kind of just moving different parts around the play. You know what I mean? So Griezmann is the last one. Again, I haven't really played with Griezmann too much. I do have this card or this very similar card on my other profile. Very good finishing. The speed and acceleration isn't great. But Griezmann is more of a player that gets lost between the lines. And what I mean by that is if you're playing an SS or a CF that's a deep line forward, they have to come and collect the ball. And there's no real point in doing it now because at the moment the meta is to play either a tall target man and then a, a player off him or else, you know, three strikers up front. Check out my video where I had, you know, the top three most popular formations at the moment. It's all about either getting the ball into feet and, you know, repeating that repetition or else being able to knock the ball on, cross the ball, have different options of hold up play. Griezmann is a very good attacking midfielder. He's, he's brilliant at it. But there's just so many good attacking midfielders in the game that are whole players or creative playmakers. I think a lot of these players, lads, are genuinely aimed at newcomers. So if you're like me, you've been playing for a while, I think you could skip it. But let me know. I could be wrong. Maybe I'm glossing over some things. Locatelli, uh, Solar, we had a look at him as well. He's down as a right back. I do like right backs with all these player skills fairly decent. But let me know, lads. Let me know what you guys think. I'll be in the live stream later. I hope you guys check it out. We'll see you then. Don't forget to subscribe.